I'm Seth uh, Pimentel, or people know me as African Ginger. I'm a freelance illustrator. I was 18 when I got my first tattoo. And I had this weird, amazing concept of getting a tree with an eye in the middle. And I gave it to this guy, Full Boy, and he's like, yeah, it's a cool concept. I'll redesign it for you. You redesigned it for me. And I was like, nah, this doesn't work. And he was like, well, dude, there's a style called traditional style tattoos. Maybe you should get one. And I chose this tiger that's like up here. And that was my first tattoo. And ever since then, I fell in love with like traditional. Like half my, all my tattoos are actually neo-traditional and traditional. I never count my tattoos. Before when I had like four, like, four tattoos, you know? When you get a tattoo, you look in the mirror and you're just like, yeah. And now it's like, cool, man. <laughs> I think that's the thing with a lot of people that have a lot of tattoos. They're like the most passionate and sensitive people in the world. And everyone has this preconceived notion that they're pretty like, like hardcore, you know? The neck tattoo is like, for me, everything was going really well and like people started understanding my work and I was like, you know, fuck this shit, Seth. Like, you're gonna get a neck tattoo so that you don't fall back, so that you don't become comfortable with not doing the most you can do, you know? And I sat for four hours. Four hours of the most intense pain of my life. It was, it was worth it though. Yeah, I got, this one is a funny story actually. I was chilling at a friend's studio and we got like super drunk. And he, got, he just got his machine. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna be a tattoo artist. I'm like, dude, are you sure about this? He's like, yeah, I'm gonna be a tattoo artist. I'm like, okay, cool, well, tattoo me today. And let's see how it works. And he tattooed me and oh my God, I regret this tattoo with every second. Like I wanna like, get it blacked out. And then it got a bit serious. Um, my ex-girlfriend committed suicide. So I got this piece for her. Cause I have like one, two, three, I got like four gypsies tattooed on me. And then, you know, I was speaking to a friend of mine's dad and he's like, why do you have so many gypsies? I'm like, I'm, I don't know, I like gypsies. He's like, maybe you're a gypsy. I'm like, maybe I am a gypsy. That makes a lot of sense as to why I'm so like free flowing. I mean, I mean, I might seem like I'm quite a structured individual, but no. <laughs>